haven't really shown Vitruvian a lot of love, so maybe we'll build some Vitruvian today. It just comes down to what do I want to play? I want to play something controlly. We'll try like Mirage Master, Starfire Scarab. We'll do some we'll do some heavier stuff. I think Mirage Master is incredibly overlooked. Sand Howler also got buffed. I think that card is also obscene. I don't know if we want to run two or three Mirage Masters, but if my opponent plays like an Archon Spellbinder and then I answer back with Mirage Master, it's insane, or even like Mechanter Warbeast. Yeah, we'll run Sand Howler. I think I really do believe that Sand Howler is, is disgusting. We'll crack one Amara Healer. Maybe we can be really dastardly with like Blind Scorch Zen Rui. And then we just run the rest of the Hater cards. Healing Mystic, a couple Rust Crawlers, Emerald Rejuvenator, run a couple Zen Rui. We have a, if we run Dancing Blades, we've got way too many five drops. So I think we're going to back off. I need more two drops. The rest is just going to be uh, good stuff. Dervish things. Dunecaster. Obelisk. Orb Weaver. Fireblaze Obelisk. Mirage Master is also kind of reactive, so maybe only two of those, even though I think it is kind of busted. We don't necessarily need to run Rust Crawler because we could just run Rasha's Curse, since we're putting in all the Dervish stuff anyway. So yeah, we'll put in Rasha's Curse. And then Sand Howler is also a Dervish, so it benefits from all the Dervish synergy. Yeah, we'll cut the Pandora, put in Fire Blaze. Bit of an oddball deck. We'll see how it, uh, how it lands. Zoo is probably the best way to play Vitruvian. I pulled Nether Summoning. Can you show me some Mech Abyssian? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just in the middle of... What's up, Broken Ball, by the way? I was just in the middle of experimenting with some uh, Vitruvian. And then I definitely want to jump back onto Mech Abyssian because that deck is hysterical. It's super fun. So we've got Obelisk. If we get our Dervish in the right spot, we can uh, ramp to Sand Howler. Versus Magmar, this is one of our worst matchups because of like Natural Selection and Plasma Storm. So if they have Natural Selection, keeping the Sand Howler is a mistake. Ugh. So I'm just going to push my luck. I've been having a great time with Artifact Retruvian and Dervish Retruvian has been looking really good too. I think that Artifact Retruvian might be slept on. But like just Zoo Vitruvian is very solid. Blind Scorch is cute in this matchup uh, to to maybe steal like a veteran Silithar or something big, but we'll want that for the later part of the game. For now, I'm just going to do um, Ethereal Obelisk, and then I will throw down an Orb Weaver like this. This one threatens to ramp to the Mana Tile. This one I can walk back and play Starfire Scarab in a very safe position. White Widow. Ooh, that's spicy. What is my opponent cooking with the White Widow? So now we got a Sand Howler. I can Mirage Master their White Widow and, and start doing nonsense to them. But I think we'll just go with the, with the original plan. Because this Obelisk is going to go down. I'm going to take this mana tile. And we'll uh, slam some damage onto the White Widow. I played White Widow in the server test as a cheeky tech when I was playing Mask of Shadows Song High. I've been having a great time with Artifact. Oh, wait a minute. White Widow good? It's, it's not like super meta. It's a niche card that helps you when you're building... Um, very, very, very specific, uh, styles of deck. But if you're hard up for spirit, it's, it's a pretty safe disenchant. I've seen a lot of decks splashing White Widow and replacing, oh, uh, White Widow and Ether Master. I suppose it's a, it's a good way to keep up with Vanar's, uh, like, spam. Oh, it's cute with Lionheart Blessing. I didn't think about that. It's damaged. It would proc that. Ooh. 
I like this position. So when you set a blast unit on the center tile, it has access to every square, right? You get to pick what target you want. If I walk the Starfire Scarab down that to in order to clear the Emerald Rejuvenator, then I can walk forward and clear the White Widow, right? And when I do that, Starfire Scarab will be here. My opponent can then walk to this tile, and then the Starfire Scarab can't blast next turn. And right now I'm thinking if like Mirage Master on the White Widow is worth and it's not. There's Sand Howler again. Okay. I'll I'll accept their gambit. Cause next turn my opponent's gonna be on Mechanter War Beast, so I kinda have to spread out my units anyway. And we'll just play the Sand Howler here. So that I get a better trade into the uh White Widow. And I'll go ahead and just first wish the Howler to make it a 4-5 so it survives against Warbeast. And I'm going to keep this 1-1 one, one alive. It means if Ragnar wants to get away from Starfire Scarab, he has to walk here and corner himself a little bit more. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can Mirage Master another Scarab. That's valid. But after seeing my opponent with the White Widow, I think they might have something stronger for me to take. Oh, baby, I got the Zen Rui. Kujata. Yeah, my opponent is cooking. into egg morph so now i could just zen rui this but that doesn't seem like it would be anti-synergy with my deck so i can just first wish and trade hit face body block with my one one and keep running away the way that we protect starfire scarab is actually keeping this orb weaver alive so that they can never natural selection this yeah, it could be White Widowed Metamorphosis. The Kujata tells me a lot. Let's just draw a card first. Because we're going to take this trade no matter what. Just another Mystic. Um, we'll play Fireblaze Obelisk here. Move the Orb Weaver here. And I like my hand. Who started the White Widow train? I ran into multiple classes running yesterday. I wonder. Maybe it like popped off in a tournament or something. It's a good just backline unit. There's the War Beast. And we have Mirage Master. So we can just play War Beast if we want. That's actually, we can just clear it for free with the Dervish. I think the fact that my opponent can't deal with Starfire Scare means we kind of just win. Now I'm just, like, trying to protect myself. Run away from Ragnara. So, I want to try to play around Egg Morph. So I guess I just summon another Starfire Scarab here. <laughs> like, and I guess, and then these don't die to Plasma Storm. We can move this Dervish forward. And just try to body block like this. I like the rest of this. This results in a little bit more burst damage. And by playing the healing mystic here, it keeps Ragnar from running away from the Starfire Scarabs. On an empty board, uh, Magmar can't really burst me from 17 either. Everything's super spaced out. So like there's really no good war beast except maybe here. All right, I'm back. So they have Egg Morph. Into Blood Tear? Are they gonna try to high roll White Widow here? Bruh, into Natural Selection? What do you got for me, Hobes? Elucidator, oh my God, they are going ham. My opponent's dead though. Oh, my opponent is very dead. Even without the Mirage Master, yeah, they're super dead. They were just egg morphing this to take it out of play for a turn rather than killing the egg. Were you a Wizard Brome enjoyer? No, no. I uh I missed the I missed the boat on Wizard Brome. Ooh, Entropic Decay is okay. It's good for dealing with like veteran Zillathar. Yeah, they they swapped to Magmar. 
I wonder if they're trying to target me. No turn one play, which is good for me. I've got Orb Weaver into Healing Mystic. Let's go greedy. The Wizard Brome, yeah, that deck I think was S tier, wasn't it? Like, it got solved right before the server shut down. Like, we figured out like the proper recipe and like the proper play style. There's young Silithar. Let's uh draw first. Dang. I guess I'll ramp. Got the sanded howler. <laughs> Alright, sand howler, show them what you're capable of. I'm telling you, look how look how disgusting this thing is to play around. You gotta like position in a really funky way to like get your trades. The sand howler's always just like trading into your stuff for free. If I get two of them in play, I just start to eat your stuff. Oh my god, I, I'm kind of vibing with this card, chat. And I got Dunecaster, which makes it a 5-6 uh, a Lord. I got Spellbinder. Flash Spellbinder. I got Entropic Decay for that. Sand Howler protecting my general. You love to see it. Be gone. And then Sand Howler gets to sl slap this Silifar far for free. Only takes one damage and I clear the egg. And, hmm. I'll replace the Rosh's Curse. Seeing the Flash Archon probably means they aren't running artifacts. There's the war beast. Kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. But the war beast only did three, three damage because of the howler. I think we do slap Amara. My opponent could have egg morph. Hmm. Alternatively, we do slap obelisk healing mystic dune caster. We missed the we whiff on the dune caster, though. Yeah, I think I think it's just slap Amara. Oh, I should have moved here and hit so I could play Amari Healer in front of me to play around Dancing Blades. Egg Morph. Yep. And the thing, too, is just play the Amara Healer when you're even or ahead. Because if, if you play it when you're behind and it's the only thing that's protecting you from defeat, then it's going to not work out for you. So now I'm just going to play Emerald Rejuvenator. Run away and play Obelisk. I'll keep the Dune Casters with this Obelisk up. Don't need Healing Mystic. If my opponent runs this way to pressure the Obelisk, Rejuvenator runs this way and sets up the Starfire Scarab. I love this split fork. My goodness. If my opponent like deals with the Emerald Rejuvenator, then I just play Starfire Scarab here. The Obelisk is just a fantastic outpost for me. I can run my general down this way to play around the second war beast. I've got two Mirage Masters in the deck as well. So if my opponent is playing more greedy stuff like we saw with Archon Spellbinder, then I can steal it for my own. So there, my opponent's running at me. Ooh, Vindicator. Okay. So my opponent's just going for a Smork game plan. Yo, if I get Zen Rui, let's see, we can trade, trade, trade. Zen Rui to steal this. And then Zen Rui gets, uh, <laughs> gets, uh, uh, Rush to replace one of these. So, Dervish goes here. I've got Entropic Decay as a Vindicator. I, ca I can't let this thing run rampant. Wait, why am I so bad at the game? I just tapped under Entropic Decay. You know what? It's fine, Chad. It's totally fine. Vindicator can't hurt me. If I hit S rank, can I consider myself a good player? I think so, Taz. It's very hard to hit S rank consistently. It's a global server. Why did you not super dervish? Don't need to. I'm just spamming a lot of two ones into play that are going to get wiped by Warbeast or Plasma Storm.
Y'all play too. Y'all play way too aggressive. The dervish had the had the trade into the four two. Like, <laughs> of course I'm going to take that trade and save these busts for later. Yeah, board development is king versus Magmar. It is not. <laughs> you have to you have to be a little bit more uh, respectful when you're playing versus Magmar. That second egg morph. Yeah, very weak turn from the opponent. Another great trade into the veteran Silithar. Maybe we can try to pick up a Zenrui here. Oh, just Fire Blaze. Yeah, my opponent's doing something spicy. I do have uh, Fire Blaze, Obelisk, Rasha's Curse. So yeah, this is a clear. So now we do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So Healing Mystic will be the one to clear the uh, veteran Silithar. Then we run you over here. And we summon the Dune Caster. You're a big boy. Then we rush this curse over here. And then we Dune Caster over here. And you're a big boy. And then I will Fire Blaze Obelisk over here. And my big boys are big boys. And then I run away. And so now, my opponent is like, oh no, I have to kill them over here, but this Fireblaze Obelisk is buffing uh, Dervishes and it's over here. There's maybe a slightly better formation with the Dervishes, but I'm trying to also respect Second War Beast. They've got a good one here or here or here. The Fireblaze is, is kind of in a very, like, silly position. Fireblaze maybe could have gone over here, but again, I'm just trying to split pressure my opponent. It, yeah, it's hard. It's very, very difficult to, like, account for everything that Magmar might have. My opponent's already played two Egg Morphs. I got another Starfire Scarab here. This is another, like, classic Vitruvian idea of I play too many threats and eventually you run out of removal and then I win. Metamorphosis Flash Reincarnation Spirit Harvester is incredibly specific. You only see that in, like, Elucidator combo. My opponent showed me Flash Reincarnation and Vindicator. It is very likely. Damn, you're gonna take that damage though? <laughs> Yo, Pog, they got the Flash Spear Harvester. <laughs> well, I'll be. So I can play Starfire Scarab over here. Ethereal Obelisk is a liability if they throw like Mechanter at me. Actually, I should have summoned the uh, Emerald Rejuvenator like here before I made that trade because of War Beast, but you know, the inability to play around War Beast is a is a thing. I should actually have I should have uh, held my ground. If the Spirit Harvester runs at me, it plays into Entropic Decay. Songhai and Magmar need nerfs. I think they do. So my opponent sacks an Elucidator in order to kill this Starfire Scarab. And then they move into Entropic Decay positioning. Looking good for me. Okay. Hmm. They didn't Healing Mystic the Vindicator. This will die to Spirit Harvester if I let it. If I get, if I get, if I get Scion's First Wish, then I'll take the trade, I think. Get rid of this. Oh, Zenrui! Zenrui! Is Dominate Will a thing? Yeah, I probably should be running Dominate Will. We've got enough mana for uh, Entropic Decay on this into Zenrui. Move this way. Zenrui on the Vindicator. So, a unit's opening gambit happens right before it comes into play. So, technically, we steal the Vindicator and then Zenrui comes into play. So, now he has Rush. So, now Vindicator gets to run away. Again, another split threat. 
I'll slay the healing mystic and we're just gonna do the slap of Reno here. Another spirit harvester probably. I would have moved Zenrui in front of opponent to block access to Vindicator. Ah, right, right. My opponent is low on cards. If I get Mirage Master here, I can dupe their War Beast and win. So let's replace. I need to cast a Silence First Wish on something in order to draw cards. So let's just let's just get it. Yeah, let, let's just draw into it, chat. Damn! This is why we can't have nice things. There you are, you little scallywag, you scoundrel. We needed you last turn. My opponent has three cards in hand, so that means we don't die to Elucidator combo, so that's a good thing. Metamorphosis. No spirit harvester. My 4-4 four, four dies, yep. 